our um, work in the field of Pompeii, um, I would say is unique because um, we have been part of the process for Pompeii right from the bench and development of the um, first approved enzyme therapy for Pompeii disease. As such, there's a lot of historic knowledge that comes along with our role um, and a lot of um, knowledge of what the disease was prior to the advent of enzyme therapy in 2006 to where we are today. So in terms of the landscape, I believe our team truly appreciates what the challenges were then to what now is the new and emerging natural history of treated disease, to what the unmet needs are with the current therapy, as well as um, we have really tried to play a big role in newborn screening for Pompe disease. And what we are learning now is a new emergence of understanding of what babies with Pompe disease across the disease continuum, including those that were considered as adult onset or later onset Pompe disease, uh, what their features are right as they are born or within the first few years of life. Um, in addition to that, I think with the enzyme treatment, there are a number of immunological challenges that come with a protein therapeutic. And I think Duke has paved the way um, using Pompe as the example of how you can prevent that immune response and, um, and or abrogate an existent immune response, which then allows for um, successful use of enzyme therapy and the clinical benefits from it. And this now I think is being uh, transposed um, as a lesson learned from one rare disease to other um, rare diseases where um, enzyme replacement therapy um, is the treatment for it. Another area, and I think we also have a very unique um, natural history study where we have been able to gather information from um, patients from around the world, which allows us to understand um, different aspects of Pompe disease and global uh, or geographic differences. Um, that exist. Also, what some of the barriers are for um, patients with Pompe disease across the world. Um, so I think those are some of our areas of expertise. If I could add one more thing, um, we also have had a lot of expertise in terms of gene therapy for Pompe disease from my colleague, Dwight Kobel, from the bench. And so now we've got the clinical translational experience with use of uh, liver-directed AV gene therapy now for Pompe disease. And again, that can shed light on many other diseases.